In this video, I'm going to talk you through designing your own WordPress theme using Lubith. Now, Lubith is a WYSIWYG online theme generator. WYSIWYG meaning what you see is what you get. And there are both free and paid for versions. But we're going to be using the free version for this demonstration. Before you start, though, there are a few things that you need to decide. First of all, you need to decide on your theme's color scheme because once you actually get onto the site, you can make changes on the fly, but you do need to have sort of some idea as to what you want the site to look like. And you also need to create your header graphic because the one that actually comes with Lubis, the default one, isn't particularly good. Now, when it comes to creating your header graphic, uh, 940 by 239 pixels is the recommended size and you should save it as a JPEG file. You can use software like Adobe Photoshop or GIMP to create it yourself or you can outsource it to someone uh, on a site like Elance or if you're strapped for cash you could try a site like Fiverr.com. Okay, we're going to come here to lubith.com and then click on this button here that says start here, it's free. And it takes you through to this page where you choose a username, enter your email, password and the capture. Or you can connect with Facebook, Google or Yahoo. Let me just pause the video while I enter this information in. OK, that's done. So all I need to do is click here on register. And there we go. It's saying registration was successful. You must now confirm your email address where you can log in, check your email and click on the link provided. So let me just log in to my Gmail account. And there's the link in my inbox. So just click on it. And there we go, it's saying your account has been activated. You may log in. So just enter the information in here. And then click on log in. And there we go. And it says it's very easy to use. So to get started, all you have to do is click here on the button that says start here. It's free. Now, Lubith is actually very easy to use. And this is what the Lubith page looks like. And I'll just talk you through all the controls and everything. You can change the uh, positions of things just by simply clicking on them and then holding the mouse over this orange um, button here to move it up and down and backwards and forwards. And you can change the size of things by holding the mouse over this green button and sliding it around. Um, you can alter the positions of things. You can alter the positions of the text blocks and the sidebars and the header images and that sort of thing. You can change the background. You can have a background image or a color. You can have it transparent. You can alter the opacity just by simply clicking on it. Um, you can change the type. Uh, the font and so on. Uh, the free version is very limited, but on the uh, paid for version, there's a much better selection. You can change the type size just by sliding it here. Uh, you can um, add a border. There are all sorts of tools that you can have as well. Um, you can add and remove things. For example, you can add a logo or remove it. You can get rid of the site title and description. You can have one or two sidebars. On the pro version, you can get rid of the footer link. On the free version, you have to keep it. Uh, I'll show you that in a moment. And now let's say, for example, I want to change the background. Let's just lose that. Let's say I want to have a custom designed uh, theme for my blog and I'm going to use Lubith. I'm going to change the background, uh, select the background and click on background and click on background color. And then I can simply change it. Let's say I want to have a sort of a more blue color, a sort of a steel gray. I can change it like that just by moving over the mouse. Uh, can you see how that's changing now? 
and then just simply click on OK. Background will actually select the background of whichever you happen to have selected. So if you've got a uh, text block selected, you can change the background color or things like that. OK, now I'm going to have the site's name in the header, so I'm going to get rid of the uh, title and the description. So just uncheck those checkboxes. And that's OK, I'll just close that now. And now I can move the header image up a bit so that it's uh, a bit further up to the, towards the top. And there we go. And I can also make it wider or narrower uh, however I want it just by moving it uh, on the green button there. Again, you see, very, very simple. Now I want to have a header image here, and this is one I've created already. So I'm going to upload that from my computer's uh, hard drive. So you go from background and upload image and a pop-up window will open. And this is the file that I'm going to have, Lubith header. And I've created this myself in Photoshop. Um, you can create one yourself or you can always outsource it. So let's just click it on open. And it takes a moment to upload. And there we go. It's got the uh, header. Okay, now I need to move the, the menu up a bit. So let's just click over there. This can be a bit tricky because sometimes they're a bit hard to see if your screen resolution is mine is. Okay, so pull that up like that. That'll do. And I can change the colors if I want. So we can do again using background, background color. You can see it's opening this way. So let's um, just move those around because you can move these all around like this. And you can have either a background to the whole menu or you can just have the individual labels. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to have them normally be white with a black text. So let's move that all the way over there like that and then click on OK. And I'm going to keep the other ones at the default setting. But you can see you can go through and change all of these in the same way. You've got the different sub menus and when it's pressed and so on. And you can alter the width of the other various parts here. In fact, I'm just going to move this one down a little bit, just so we're under the menu. Bring that over there. Let's line that up. One thing I don't like about Lubith is you can't snap to grid, so you have to sort of eyeball everything which can be a bit difficult um, and can take a bit of practice to get right. Okay, let's just scroll down. You can see what it's going to look like. And let's change the footer color here. Like that. Let's make that, again, a sort of a, a blue color. Let's have the background color there. You can move that down. Again, you can just simply move it around like that. If you have the RGB or the hex code for a particular color, then you can simply enter it into the box here, and it will show you the before and after colors as well. So then click on OK. And I'm going to leave all the rest of the default settings. So now we can test the theme by clicking here on this button. And there we go. You can see what it's going to look like. That's not too bad. And you can play about with this. Again, you can go through all the different menus and check them out to make sure they work properly. 
etc. Now, on the free version, you have to keep this link back to Lubith, uh, but when you have the, uh, the pro one, the paid for version, then you can put your own link in the bottom here, or you can do away with it altogether. Okay, let's go back to the editor. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that, so I'm going to download that now to my computer's hard drive. So click on download. And then you can see it's downloaded it onto my computer's hard drive. So all I need to do now is install it onto WordPress. Okay, I've logged into my WordPress dashboard and I've gone through the Add Themes uh, tab like in the last video. And I'm going to click here on Upload Theme and then choose File. And this is the theme I'm going to upload, the one that we've just created, my Lubith Theme 2.zip. So I click on Open and then click on Install Now. And there we go, that's done. I can click on the live preview. And we can see how it looks, and that looks okay to me. So I'm gonna click here on save and activate. And there we are. That's a new custom designed theme installed in WordPress.